Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about tables and how to give the different styles and what all styles we can give to the table while working with the CSS. As we know, like table is one of the very important concept of HTML using which I can give the formatting or the overall page alignment can be designed by a single table itself. So here in this particular video, we'll see what all we can do with the table like giving the different kind of borders to the table or the spacing and all that is all we can do. So let's start a practical implementation where we will pass the different style formats of table using CSS. Now in this example where I'm going to decorate the table using CSS, what I have done is I have taken two table and I have created the class for each table. All right. When I say table dot one, that means here I'm simply merging two things, the name selector, that is the table and the class selector that is dot one. So that makes sure that this one class can only be applied to a table type. All right. Otherwise you can apply a class to any particular tag. But here I made sure that this one and two class will be applied to the table only. So for both the tables, what I have done is I have taken the different border collapse. One is the collapsed and the one is separate. So basically what it will do is first one will be having a combined borders for the different cells while the second table will be having a separate border. So let's save it and come to the browser. Let's refresh and here you can see this one is the collapsed border while this one is the separate border as here you can see upper cell is having two means firstly it is the dotted one and then the second separate cell for this all right so now when it comes to the table there are two things like class one and class two similarly for the td also we have a and b td a is for the dotted borders tdb is for the solid border both are of similar width that is 3 pixel both are of similar padding that is 10 pixel yes there is a difference a bit with the border color that is the black color and the grayish color so here you can also feel that this one is the grayish color and the dotted one is the black in color all right so if you want i will change this color to some other one like let's say I'll make it blue. All right. So let's come here and see it's sorry. It's green. It's RGB, right? I put F in the green. So it's green in color. So now you can clearly feel the difference. All right. So this is about the TDA TDB where I'm mentioning the type of border, right? Like solid or dotted or dashed while this one is for the collapse or separate border. So here you can see it is collapsed and here you can see it is separated. All right. So let me make some changes in the table one and table two class. And here I will add a couple of more things that is the uh, along with the separate. Now both the columns, both the tables have the separate border width. I am specifying here as well. That is 400 pixel and border spacing means the difference between the borders. All right. So that is 10 pixels. So let's save and come back to the browser. Let's refresh it. And here you can see the difference. All right. The first one is having the border difference of 10 while the second one is having the border difference of 50 pixel. All right. That is the, this one is for the side. This one is for the down. So here you can see the difference of 50 pixel in the border, but obviously both are the same table with separated borders rest of the thing is same like here whatever it was there it is still the same means border width dotted color and padding all is still the same so in the another example i have created a couple of more classes with the different table layouts the first table layout is the auto while the second one is fixed so what i'm doing is when i'm applying the auto means the table layout auto to any particular table their width will be adjustable means the column width will be adjustable for example here the first column means the first td is having the width of 20 percent of the overall table so when i will enter this large value so accordingly 
the minimum width which is required for this means if 20% is not enough for this value so it will give the minimum space which this particular value requires and then it will manage for the remaining two but if make it will make it fixed so doesn't matter whether this particular value is adjustable there in that particular column or not it is not going to make any changes in the column width so let's see the output in the browser and here you can see like both are having the same width that is 20 40 40 and 20 40 40 but this first table width means the first column of the first table width is more than this one all right because you can see that this particular value is not being managed here you can see you can feel this overlapping as well right like there is zero and one one over another so this is the overlapping which is going on the second table because of the fixed uh, layout while the first one adjusted the width of the first column and is able to show the complete data properly so as per your requirement you can make the table layout as fixed or auto in case you don't want to manage the width at the runtime sometime that may cause the disturbed layout in the output or the in the different size of screens but in some situations you can go for the auto so depending on the situation you can choose whether you want to go for the auto or fixed table layout